Morning, Sibakazi. Thank you. Uh, how's it, Riza? Good morning to you. Um, Riza, very well batted in, the, in that uh, last game at the weekend. Um, you came in and just seemed to have the measure of the conditions right away from the outset. Um, how do, I mean, was it just one of those days or is that something you've worked on? And how do you cope with, um, there's so much competition in that top order that, you know, you, you're probably not always sure when you're going to play, how many games you're going to play. How hard is that to deal with? Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, at first I actually took some time to get myself in, to get used to the conditions. And um, once I got the hang of it, I could obviously play a bit freely. And uh, with Yanaman batting well on the other side, it was kind of my role to try and keep the intent going and try and keep the scoreboard ticking as quickly as possible. And um, yeah, fortunate came off, got some runs. Um, would have loved to have kicked on, but yeah, it is what it is. And um, happy to have contributed. And also, um, Riza, he asked a question about, um, you know, the competition in the top order. Um, how are you feeling right now, just having having um, competed really well in the previous match? And um, how are you feeling about the competition in the in that top order? Uh, yeah, um, yeah, the competition's obviously it's good. It's a good thing. Um, there's not a, a lot of good players in the squad. Um, so yeah, obviously I had to kind of wait my turn. Um, but yeah, like I mentioned, it's a good thing. Um, luckily I got an opportunity and I contributed, um, which I'm quite happy about. Um, but yeah, in saying that, I can control what I can control basically is to try and put the uh, put in the hard yards. Um, and when I do get opportunity to to contribute um, to the team, you know. So yeah, that's basically it, and I can control what I can. Yeah. Zahir? How's it, Riza? Zahir Adams here. Just, um, you obviously um, came to Sri Lanka a couple of years ago and, and that's where you made your ODI debut and you got 100. Is, is it a fun place for you? And, and uh, do you, do you, how do you feel basically the way you, you started with 100 back in Sri Lanka and, and where you are now? Um, how do you feel it's gone in that, in that period? Yeah, Sri Lanka definitely brings back uh, fond memories. Um, from my last trip here. So, so yeah, I mean, I started well. Um, the first couple of ODIs I played and then um, uh, probably didn't do as well as I'd have liked to. Um, and yeah, obviously got left out for quite a period now. So um, to have gotten an opportunity in the last game, it's obviously something I've been working on to try and get back into the team. Um, and to have contributed, as I mentioned, I'm obviously quite happy about that. And hopefully I can build on this going forward. Just Lisa, follow up on that. Obviously, you guys are in bubbles, but I mean, on the previous tours, what is it about Sri Lanka that you that you actually enjoy? Yeah. Sri Lanka is actually quite a nice, uh, nice place. Um, uh, definitely up there with one of the better subcontinent places. Um, the last trip, yeah, we got to see a lot more. Um, yeah, explore the place. Um, so yeah, I'd say uh, the last experience uh, was a very good one. You could obviously see things uh, a bit differently now in terms of the bubble. So yeah, it's a, like I said, it's quite Thanks a nice you. place. Thanks, Paul. Cool. Fedor followed by Telford. Hi, Risa. I'm just throwing ahead a little bit Hi. to uh, Thursday. The, the T20 World Cup squad is going to be announced. Um, could you just tell us your thoughts on, on how you're looking forward to that? I mean, where do you see your chances and, and how do you see South Africa doing at the tournament? Yeah, it's uh, interesting times ahead. Um, the next couple of days, we'll, we'll keep a few boys on their toes uh, to see what the outcome is. Um, but yeah, I think, um, again, We'll, we're definitely looking forward to it to see what the outcome would be and who's, who's selected or not. Um, I don't want to look too far ahead. Um, I'd love to think I'd be involved. I'd be involved and, and selected. Um, but again, yeah, I'd like to see. We'll see what happens uh, come Thursday. Um, yeah, we've, we're also quite confident as a team. Um, we definitely back ourselves to compete and do well in the competition. So, um, yeah, I mean, every every team really backs themselves and. Will want to do well and obviously want to do want to win the World Cup. Um, but I think 
uh, the team we have at the moment and the way we're playing, we, we're quite confident and hoping to do well. Next is Telford. Um, would anybody else like to take the last couple of questions? Please indicate on the chat panel. Hello, Riza. Well played on, on Saturday and uh, a good team effort. Um, and it's yeah. uh, when you when you compare the, the the way the first game went with the second game, South Africa would seem to have learned their lessons, you know, both in batting and bowling. How do you make sure that sticks now that the series decider is here? You know, you want to play game two. You don't want to play game one again. How do you make sure you do that? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think it's just a mindset, you know. I think uh, even the first game, the boys really played well. Uh, we came up short, uh, but in saying that, I think it was a really good team performance. Uh, yeah, we maybe uh, leaked a bit in the field. We 15, 20 runs too many. Um, and then, yeah, we couldn't we couldn't pull through with the with the bat in the first game. So, But in saying that, I think uh, it was a good game, though. Uh, guys have been playing well. Uh, they've been contributing. A few guys have been contributing to the team. So I think it's just a mindset going into the third game. Um, yeah, we'd obviously love to play our best game there and come out on top. No takers for the last question. Going once, going twice. Yeah, I, I can go, I guess. <laughs> Keep it alive. Okay, thanks, Ken. You'll take the last one. <laughs> um, Reza, there, there does seem to be quite a big improvement um, in the Proteus batting lineup of the way you guys are playing spin. Um, can you just tell us what's gone into that behind the scenes, how much work's been done, um, and are, are you guys feeling a lot more confident in being able to handle spin, and not just handle it, I mean, able to score at a good rate against it? Um, yeah, coming to the subcontinent, to Sri Lanka is obviously known for their, their slow bowlers, their spin bowlers. So um, we we're well aware of it uh, ahead of the tour. So we did some, we did quite a bit of work uh, behind the scenes um, facing spin. We had a camp up in Poch um, where the conditions were quite slow. It was obviously sort of pre-season conditions in Poch at the moment. So it obviously helped a bit with the slower and spinning conditions. And then obviously coming here, um, a focus point obviously was to play or how we uh, face spin. And um, yeah, like I said, we put a, quite a bit of work uh, in behind the scenes. And um, fortunately, it's paying off at the moment. Uh, guys have been adapting well and playing the spin quite uh, nicely at the moment. So hopefully that can continue. Thank you very much, everybody, for joining us. Um, as usual, I make this recording available as soon as possible. But have a great day ahead, and um, we'll chat tomorrow at the post match prison at the post match press conference. Take care. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Mukazi. Thanks, Thanks, everyone. Thanks, guys.